with uh, that 70s show, I feel like it's one of those things, right, gets brought up in the interview, and then the person interviewing says, this must get tiring to talk about. Do you get that every single time? That's Rhea's way of asking the question. Without, with, well, with, but, yeah. but also prefacing the, the fact. Question. Yeah, exactly. That's Good her go-to. Job, Excellent yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I No, the answer is I think if you're – Really, if you loved your time there and you love what it became, and those shows have an interesting life where they are one thing when they're on, and then they're another thing to another generation because they're around for so long. Yeah. And so, I actually, even after I left, I was like really enjoying people's reaction. No, I'm so proud of it. It's a lot mm. of work, you know. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? Th- uh, this might be too weird of a thing to talk about on this podcast, but. If you watch Friends, let me apply it to a different show. Not your marriage. <laughs> <laughs> now hear me out. It's very you're much married. like yeah, like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Friends season one, which I watched live. Like I was just whatever the age was that I watched the pilot mm-hmm. when it came on. I was like, oh, this is good. And like towards the end, I was like, they had like a monkey on the show. Like this show's so yeah. funny. <laughs> I was telling my friends, and it really it wasn't really a thing until that summer it was in reruns Mm -hmm. this is i'm much older than you guys but i remember thinking that hit me right at the right time and i was the one when the rembrandt song would come out like this is that show like and it really caught fire and then by the time it started season two it was a big hit but if you watch some of the episodes in season one they're not in the time they weren't that great um and we certainly had a ton of this like the first two or three years because a lot of us never acted before including myself like we didn't really know what we were doing but like, like Joey, I thought was a really undeveloped character on that show. But I love Joey so much as the 10 years went on. And I love, you know, Matt LeBlanc and what he did with that character. Mm. That if you go back and watch that rerun, that I remember not liking or thinking he wasn't good at that time. I now love him, yeah. that character so yeah. much because it's like this, it's like retconning your like for <laughs> uh, character. And I know that like, like on uh, with Fez on our show, it, we hadn't figured out what he was. He only said one or two lines, but you go back and you watch it and you go, oh, he's just not saying all of this stuff that at the time mm. we didn't know. So it's this really interesting thing happens with sitcoms where, because they run so much in different orders that I think people like it. Like the first uh, 12 episodes of The Office or something were, or Parks and Rec mm-hmm. had that, you know what I mean? And then now you go back and look at it, you go, oh, that's so hilarious. Yeah. It's Michael yeah. Scott. And, right. But, uh, they always find about, their place. Um, Shit's Creek too. Shit's Creek or like Thirty Rock is the same kind of thing. They're like, oh, ah, yeah. season one had some moments where it was like, oh, I didn't, I wasn't, wasn't quite sure what they were selling. But and it's then usually the actors or the back. creators who are saying it, yeah, not because everyone's like, I love every minute mm-hmm. of Friends. Yeah, yeah, everything's yeah, perfect. Yeah. I'm like, you know, I, I remember watching the one where they clean out the dead guys. You know, yes, and I was yeah. like, this is boy. Like, let's get back to the Ross and Rachel <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. What's going on with that? <laughs> yeah, and they kind of figure out the. Also, when you show. watch the shows when you're really young and then you go back and rewatch them when you're older, like for me with That 70s Show, I would watch it like when I'd come home from school at like three o'clock, it'd be on TV and my dad would be sitting on the on the couch watching it and I would watch with him. And then very like, sweet. Yeah, 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 it was great. And then, but then as like the years went on and we did the same thing year after year, I was like, oh, they're smoking weed. Like I, oh. I, <laughs> I had, how old were you when you were <laughs> like really? Young. I mean, uh, the show came uh, out in I 1998 mean, and I was born 1997, so it's oh. like <laughs> love hearing that. <laughs> yeah. Nothing better than someone saying I, I grew up yeah, on that yeah. show. Like, Come on, if man. you want to walk out now, yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's appropriate. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. over. but I was like, oh, cool, they're they're smoking. All right, I got it now. Yeah, it all it all makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that the the brilliant thing about that show is the creators i think actually the the studio is at an independent studio which they don't have anymore this is actually the last independent tv studio called carsey warner they did a lot of great shows um they uh had this idea of like it's two shows so when it's on at three it's all about like eric upstairs with his parents and when it's on at like 11 at night it's like downstairs like <laughs> rock and roll but it can be both which i was really smart yeah yeah, so uh, she said, you know, you probably get asked about that all the time. How often do you get asked about when a date with Tad Hamilton? <laughs> all right, not as much as I should. Not as much as you should. That's and what I'm saying. This question, why wasn't that nominated for an Academy Award? I, and don't, I know. don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, it's one of is this my friend's favorite, favorite thing to do. It's one of my <laughs> all-time favorites. All right, I'm sorry I'm going to do this to you. <laughs> it's one of my all-time favorites. To you ladies, but I need to know your ages right now. <laughs> I'm 27. Yeah. 24. Okay, my wife is 30 three and she never watched that 70s show 
I met her at a charity event. But she watched What a Day with Tad Hamilton. But, and here's the thing. I was, <laughs> so she's 10 years younger than me. I was like 23 when I made that movie. Yeah. I was like, man, it's a cute movie. She was like 13 when it yeah. came out. <laughs> <laughs> and she like thinks it is one of the great, like still to this day. No, I, yeah. Like I, I walked in on her watching it and I'm like, what are you doing? I'm not really that, <laughs> this film is not, I don't think I'm that good in it. And she's like, no, this is like your best performance. <laughs> But I'm very, like, very this is getting amazing. a little creepy. I'm very grateful for this for that movie because that's how, why you know like kind of she's from like middle America. Yeah, and it had a big effect on her, I guess. Yeah, and on you too. I'm yeah, sure. it had a big effect I, on. Sorry, taken, yeah. taken. Okay, <laughs> calm down, no. Fran. Yeah, I, relax. I, uh, it's a little I thought that movie was. I always thought that movie was so cute. It's a good comfort movie, like when you just want. It is a pure comfort. It was yeah. even when we were making it. I think when you the, just want like a good rom com of like friends falling in love. It was a throwback. <laughs> our to, favorite genre. Yeah, yeah it, it is. It is everyone's my favorite, favorite rom coms. Yeah. The guy who like, no, look at me. Yeah, <laughs> don't look at the guy who. Don't look at even Josh. I would want to be with. <laughs> but, but I. Uh, but at the end of it, I I remember them kind of talking about at, when they were developing it. It was like going to be, it's kind of a throwback to like '60s movies. You know, like those kind of Rock Hudson, Doris Day, mm-hmm. like very. There was like there was no edges, no edges in that movie. <laughs> no. no, that was it was great. But like, I was the edgiest part yeah, of that yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you kind of were, kind of were. That is very funny. Um, but I, we have to wrap up because I'm. I i do not know if you're doing other. Are you doing other shows? Oh yeah, they said, do you want to warm up on one? And I was like, yeah, yeah. Show me in one that, okay. that yeah. I don't care about, and then I'll yeah, get yeah, a good one. This one really doesn't first, matter at all. Then go with the <laughs> perfect, you know, the real yeah. good. Yeah. Well, this people. is good. I feel ready to yeah, go. Yeah, like, good, good. Like, You'll be really prepared for the next yeah. one. Great. Uh, home economics is on Wednesdays on ABC at 9:30 p.m. Topher, thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank, you. Really thank you. Really for, thank you. Thank you for not walking out. Yeah. <laughs>